Hi there, Odyssey. Uh, in this video, we are going to make what might be the most favorited garden snack we have done. Um, I often have kids asking, when are we gonna make zucchini pancakes? So now's your chance to do it at home. And I like this recipe like the other ones I've been sharing is that there are lots of ways to make it your own. So I'm gonna give you a really basic one and you can play with it. There are eggless versions. I think I even saw gluten-free versions. You can spice it up different ways and just play with it and make it your own. So let's get started. For these zucchini pancakes, you will need two cups of shredded zucchini, two eggs, one teaspoon baking powder and a half teaspoon salt, eight tablespoons flour, two tablespoons chopped green onion, and two tablespoons Parmesan cheese. You can pause the video here to gather your ingredients if you need to. For the purposes of this video, I have all my ingredients already measured out and chopped. Start with the zucchini and shred that first and sprinkle it with salt and set it in a bowl and set it aside for about 10 minutes. This will help extract the water from the zucchini. After 10 minutes, um, squeeze the zucchini almost like a sponge. You can either gather it up in a lightweight like a dish towel, like a tea towel, or just use your hands and squeeze as much water out of the zucchini as, as you can. Uh, if leaving the water in the zucchini might make your zucchini pancakes kind of watery and harder to cook. So I've already done that. So I'm going to set my zucchini aside because that goes in later. And I'm going to start with my dry ingredients. So that would be my flour, eight tablespoons, okay, my salt and baking soda, half teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of baking soda, okay, and two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to mix all that together. we're gonna do the wet ingredients. So I'm gonna start with the eggs and just beat those up. I have two eggs. Get those stirred up first and then move the flour out of the way. I'm gonna to toss the green onion in with the egg. And today I have some pressed garlic and some dried basil I'm gonna throw in there with my egg. That's going to be my flavoring, my seasoning. And you stir those together. And then add that to the zucchini mixture. And I will just make sure the zucchini and the egg gets mixed together. And then we are going to add the wet to the dry, folding it in. And folding is the process of not just stirring, but taking from the bottom and moving it to the top, kind of folding the ingredients over each other until you get a nice batter. You'll have kind of the consistency of zucchini bread dough if you've ever made zucchini bread. And just make sure you get all the dry stuff off the bottom. And we are ready to fry. So you're going to heat some oil in a, a pan, frying pan. If you have a non-stick pan, that might be the best. Okay, and we'll head on over to the stove. Heat some oil in a pan over medium-high heat. When the pan is hot, drop spoonfuls of batter onto the pan. The batter should sizzle upon touching the pan. Let cook for a couple minutes on one side, and then using a spatula, flip and cook on the other side. These are my finished zucchini pancakes. I especially enjoy eating them with a dollop of sour cream. I might even sprinkle a few more green onions on top. So you can experiment with what you put, them on, put on top. 
I'm hoping that you enjoy them. This has really been a favorite with the students who have had a chance to eat them in the garden. And this is about the time of year, maybe at the end of this month, that we start having zucchini in the garden. So I hope you try it and enjoy.